Hello. We are going to go through the process of logging into a virtual machine inside of Azure using an SSH key. Now the process to do this requires a few different things. First off, we want to deploy a virtual machine inside of Azure. And then from there, we want to make sure we understand what the IP address of that machine is. We also need to know the second thing here, which is the username to log in with, and then a password or a key to log in to that machine. Now, I've already started the process here a little bit. I haven't quite finished it because I want to show you this last little piece, but I've given my name or the name of my machine, uh, that of test SSH. And from here, I'm going to choose SSH public key as the method by which to authenticate using SSH. The only other special thing here to note is going to be the username. This is where we get to custom provide the username we want to log into the machine with. For the username, I'm going to say test SSH, and then we're going to generate a new new key pair. All right, I'm also going to take note of this, so I'll, so I'll go ahead and copy that, and then say review and create. And while Azure goes through the process of validating the configuration of that machine, I'm going to go ahead and make a note of what that username actually is. What's happening behind the scenes here in Azure is that there is a creation process of this machine occurring. So this virtualized machine is being built and part of the build process requires this public private key pair generation, which is what you see right here. I'm gonna go ahead and choose to download the private key and continue to create this resource. Now, I mentioned the word key pair and private key and public key. That's exactly what you see right here. As in Azure has created a, a key pair, a private key for me to download, which I just did right here and then a public key, which it then copies over to the machine that is deploying right now. So by the time this machine gets turned on and is running, the public key, which is mathematically linked to my private key, will be already on that machine waiting for me to use it, so to speak. Now, with that being said, what else is happening here as this machine is being built is I need to take note of a couple other things, all right, as far as how I'm gonna log into it once it's online and running. And as you know, it's gonna take a few seconds for this to deploy but I'll go ahead and take that time to, to show you what else we need to know. That's gonna be the IP address of the machine. We don't know the IP address of the machine until it's on and running and has been assigned a public IP address. Okay, so a few more seconds, we should have that information. The username, we specified what the username is. And as far as SSH and the syntax of the command is concerned, we need to know the IP address of the machine right here. I mentioned that a moment ago, as well as the username, and then they have that key or password to log into with. Now, what's important to note is that we have the key already. It was actually downloaded just a moment ago to my machine. So if I open up my Windows Explorer, you should see this key right here. Now, right here, what does that mean? It means actually on the command prompt, I'm in the C slash users slash, I think S Borso is the username for this machine, slash downloads directory. That's very important when we go to leverage the SSH command and put in the proper syntax. We'll come back to that here in just a second and see if this is complete as far as the deployment is concerned, and it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose to go to resource, and within a few moments, the IP address of this machine should be readily available for me to copy. I'll go ahead and say copy that, and in my notes, I'm gonna go ahead and paste it over here so I have an easy reference to what that IP address is. Now lastly, that file that was downloaded is actually the key. So I'll show you what that, looked like, uh, what that looks like by holding the Windows key and pressing R for the run command, then typing in CMD, to open a Windows command prompt, and then CDing or changing directories into the downloads directory. From there, I'm going to go ahead and run the SSH command, SSH space minus I, and this is where I need to specify the actual name of the private key, which is the .pem file, which was downloaded a few moments ago. And to make sure I, I know what the name of that is, I'm gonna go to this downloads folder right here, and it's, I can see it's test SSH underscore key dot pem. So I'm gonna start typing that in, test SSH, and just use tab completion to finish that for me, depending on how many things I have that start with test. And then for the rest of the syntax here, I need to provide the username at the IP address and then SSH into that machine. To do that, I'll go back and note what my username is, is test SSH. I'll copy that, paste it, add in the at symbol, and then go back over here to obtain the IP address, which I noted a moment ago. Copy that, paste it in, press enter, and I should be prompted for the validation of the fingerprint for the key. Since this is the first time I've ever logged in, I'll say yes, and then from there, I should be successfully logged in over SSH. As you can see, it was a success. Hopefully that adds some value to your SSHing uh, skills here for Azure.